start. Do it. I swear I didn't do it. Now tell me everything you remember about the murder. That's right, folks. We're going to be playing Dance Macabre Lethal Letters. This is the fifth, number five in the series. I honestly haven't played a lot of these games. I know they're made by Epix Entertainment, and uh, I know that some people are huge fans of Epix and they'll play anything, and others are more selective. Nonetheless, this is the beta. We're going to go ahead and check it out, and then we'll uh, kind of judge it by the end, you know, once we're all finished. I do love the fact that this gun here is all smoky <laughs> that's so neat but uh, yeah that's gonna let's see more games Let's kinda take a peek here of course Epix Entertainment has some very famous uh, game series here and they've actually taken over for others as well like Dark Parables is a good example where they overtook for uh, Blue Tea games right so anyways that is that. Let's go ahead and hit that play button. I will, of course, remind everyone that I am playing this live. I've got my lovely folks over at Hitbox, and I'm waving at you right now. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. And, of course, Team YouTube representing. So we're going to get right into this. Right now, let's hit that play button. We got a casual game. Everyone, everyone can enjoy. Challenging game for the seasoned expert. Uh, what's with these Russian dolls here? <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, we'll go casual, of course. Change your difficulty during the game by selecting the menu button. I'm Inspector Yuri, Doctor. We've taken every precaution to keep you safe while you're in St. Petersburg. As you've probably heard, two prominent doctors were killed last month. Don't worry. We'll be safe at the theater. Count Antonov mentioned you're an expert in cognitive psychology and hypnosis. I hope you'll be able to help him in this matter. Ah, we're here. Would be like interactive help? I think we'll go with our special features, like always. I've never had a business meeting in a theater. Well, look at all these chairs with their numbers all over them. The Count is a psychology student. He's fascinated with your methods and your ability to diagnose patients. Oh, thank you for the follow down east. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. The Count is a psychology student. Okay. He wanted to keep this meeting discreet. So we reserved a seat behind his. Here. You left your purse in the car. Enjoy. Hey, <laughs> he took my purse out of my car? Maybe I wanted to leave it there. Why would you touch it? You touched my purse. Oh dear, that's going to backfire on me one of these days. I can't wait to hear what this meeting's about. What did I put... Oh, where did I put that seat number? Okay. Go through my purse. Apparently, I am Dr. Yard Gibbs Hawthorne. 
psychologist and expert in hypnotherapy. Haynes Institute, London. Uh, I, I'm glad I brought my opera glasses. Okay. Ah, my watch. I've grown fond of it. I bring it to every session. And we are seat number 73. Is that what that said? Over here. Uh, okay. Oh, that's my hint. Oh. Oh, okay. How many of you have actually played the Dance Macabre series? Because I know I haven't. I've maybe played a few betas from here to from here to, to there, I guess. I don't know. Looks like we are... Whoa, dude! Face forward. I don't... No one wants to see you. No. <laughs> Look the other way. The show's gonna start. Turn around. I'm Sergei Antonov, Doctor. It's a pleasure to meet you. My fiance is performing tonight. She's the reason I called you here. Okay, but should we not be watching the show? And why are your eyes so dark? She's been having strange blackouts lately. It happens almost every other night. She's behaving as if her mind has left her body. Oh, that can't be good. It would be unethical of me to try to treat her. But you can. I need you. Because I think it's all connected to the... To the... <laughs> Whoa! Uh... I think the Count's dead. I think he got shot. I love the screaming sound. Oh my gosh. What's that? He probably wanted to show it to me. I'm gonna steal it anyways. Steal the evidence. Okay, let's see here. Sergey, my dear, I've hidden the four missing gems around the theater. Once you open the box, you'll find something for you inside. It's from his fiancée. Whatever's inside might help me better understand the situation. The sitch. I need to figure out the sitch. Oh my gosh, all the screaming is real. That ballerina shot him. She looked shocked afterwards. Doctor, over here. Please help me with this door. I love their dresses though, and don't the dresses look nice? I know we're supposed to be dealing with a panic situation, but these dresses look handsome. Ooh. <laughs> we have a puzzle to get out? It's like a serious situation, but we gotta solve a puzzle to get out of the theater. I'll pull uh. the lever whenever you want. Just give me a sign. Ah, uh, okay. What are we doing though? Where's the information? Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Uh, I didn't. I don't see instructions. Does anyone else see where like instructions? Oh, maybe we're just supposed to move this. Okay. Oh wow. Uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck already. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, we can go this way maybe. Okay, now I'm stuck that way. Oh, we can go here. Kind of an interesting puzzle, but certainly not the safest way to get out of a situation like someone's been murdered. Question mark. Oh, that tiny little question mark? Okay. Drag the cog through the maze. Press the colored buttons to change the obstacles. When the cog is caught under a colored obstacle, you can't move it. Hmm. Alright, thank you. You're doing great. We have to open it soon, or the crowd will turn into a stampede. <laughs> you think? You think. Let's see here. We did it! Yay! Uh, finally! Now I can go after that ballerina and talk to her! 
Count Antonov, is he? I can't believe it. This is a complete disaster! I'm not going to stop you from going after her, but I'm locking this door when the crowd leaves. Please, be careful. Oh, never forget the look on her face. There's only one way to find out what's going on with her. Chase her down. Stop! What's the matter with you? <laughs> what is going on? Holy cow. Hey, help me out of this! Please hurry! Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll leave you hanging there forever. Hi, Cupcakes. Welcome to the live stream. Hi, Kitty Katie. Welcome to the live stream. Got some subscribers representing tonight. We, of course, we've got Julie and Nancy as well. Thank you all for hanging out and all of your support. Uh, what should we do with this fella here? His shirt's coming untucked here. My stuff is over there, under the curtain. There might be something you can use. Uh, something fell from here. This place is not safe. I'm kind of feeling... <laughs> I should tickle him? Yikes. That would be kind of cruel, wouldn't it? Ooh, we got glitter there. Uh, there is the smoking gun. Literally. Sergei Antonov. Whoa, that sounds like a place and a name. Also, oh, that evidence we can't touch, but the other one we can. Fine, fine. You can play match three instead. Let's have a peek at that. Epix has always kind of had the match three in their games, right? Uh, you know, I, I know that the developers have add these just to kind of give you options. Uh, I don't know. I prefer my match three games to be match three, and my Hopa games to be Hopa. But that's just me, I suppose. Uh, all right. Well, I think we're done here. I'm not sure why this weed f f leaf is in here, but it is. Got some wacky tobacco in here. So good. I think we're trying to get these E's to the bottom, right? Anyways. Oh, we actually got one object out of all that. Alright, let's get back into this. The uh, Epix Entertainment are known for their lovely hidden object puzzles. Seems like every developer is adding super puzzles now to their games, even though that was kind of kicked off by Elephant Games. Because I've seen Madhead do it, and I've seen Epix do it now. Makes me wonder if Big Fish owns the rights to that or something, because I know Big Fish owns the rights to a lot of these games, and then they just hire these developers to, to basically make them. Okay, so we have a bug. Where's our bug? There it is, right there. And we, now we have to find more parts of the puzzle. A razor and a boot. What? A razor and a boot? Not sure what a razor and a boot's all about. Whoa! See what I just did there? The razor, a boot, the boot? What? The razor is about the boot? No, the razor is a boot. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, I don't know what this is. Why is there a boot and a razor? Seriously, I don't... Oh, it's a skate! Oh my gosh. Wow. That's kind of crazy. I know, I'm talking nonsense tonight. I think it's because I'm tired, you know, when you do a full day's work. And then you have to kind of do other stuff after work. Okay, I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, it is this dagger thing. We now have a lever. Oh, it's not a dagger, it's a lever. Tickle, tickle. So, oh, I think this lever will go here. <laughs> wow, he's quite the gymnast. 
Thank you. I can't believe Arena shot someone. She was usually so nice, but lately she's been kind of hard to work with. She seemed distracted at times, but it never affected her dancing. It was pure perfection. She went backstage. I'll open the door for you. So, her name's Irina. She doesn't sound like the kind of person who would kill someone. I guess we should just go where he wants us to go? That thing could fall down. I should be careful where I step. Whoa, it's dark back here. Hello, anybody? I better turn on the light. Where the heck is the light? Oh, there it is. That's better. Whoa, what's such an extravagant egg doing here? It's so Russian! A gift befitting an empress for my precious little Irina. Your loving father, the Duke. You think that last guy's eyes are all shifty? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Whoa. Looks like we got a mini hidden object puzzle here. Let's see. Apparently we need a couple bows. And a swan. Definitely has got the whole uh, ballerina Russian vibe going on. Yes, Fabergé egg. That was what I was thinking. What did I say? Russian egg? Okay, where's the final bow? Seriously. There it is. Oh, and a package. We now have a package. I bet Irina keeps a key for this box in the theater. Decorated box. Hmm. A Fabergé omelet? Yeah, that might work. We apologize for the delayed delivery. It took longer to fix the statue's wing than we would have thought. It's a wing. And it's angelic. I bet you this is going to be the, what is it, the the comedian and the sad face or whatever they're called? I'm going to break the wing again? What? Not yet. Red envelope. That is a lovely color red. Okay, what's my pocket watch for? I swore an oath I'd only hypnotize a patient with consent. 